Hello class, welcome to uh, our final um, normal work week, uh, week 15, and um, next week we have our final, right? So, um, it, it's, it's definitely been uh, uh, an intense way to end the semester. Uh, not all of my classes end on such a momentous set of events. Um, but I think, again, as I've stated, I think it's so important for us to understand this history as Americans and, and, and why the, our politics, uh, like why our society is so conflicted on so many important issues. Um, I don't want to, um, you know, kind of be redundant um, and say things that you're already going to... Um, be hearing uh, in, in the lectures and the videos. I just kind of want to explain just a little extra uh, on my um, why I'm having you watch a good chunk of Birth of the Nation, um, the um, that movie. That was a blockbuster hit, and it was showed by President Woodrow Wilson in the White House, and he basically called it accurate history. And I had a, a Southern friend. Um, who um, said that as a white man, he was, he, as a kid, they watched a three hour long silent film, over three hours long, uh, uh, several times in his life, taught his actual history. And again, it was a blockbuster hit. And um, I think it really does have to do with the kind of rewriting, um, an effort to rewrite and retell the story of the Civil War itself and the after effects of the Civil War. And especially in terms of uh, um, the relationship that, or the relevance that the, that the Civil War had towards the black community in this country. Um, and, you know, really seeing, um, you know, and, and, and then I, 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 I have a discussion of the film and then I show uh, uh, the clip of the director uh, um, and his uh, uh, discussion about the about about the re-releasing of his film at the time. Why do I have you do that? I just wanted you to see that how mainstream culture, like abs like, um, absorbed and had such a strong stomach for not only just his film, but just notice the whole. I mean, just just watch everything about even that little last interview and think about um, a lot of the messages that it's sending in terms of the legacy of the Civil War and Reconstruction and the KKK. Um, and, you know, I, 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 again, I'm, I'm hoping you'll find this um, thought-provoking. You know, also why I have you watch a huge chunk of The Birth of the Nation is because you hear about it all the time as a primary source, uh, uh, as a controversial mark in, in our nation. And by the way, there's other, there's a more modern film, I think, uh, called Birth of the Nation, okay? So don't get that confused, you know, I'm giving you the clip of of this, the original one. And, um, and so, uh, um, I just think it'll be good for you to kind of like reflect upon that along with the information that you uh, learned. Uh, in, in this class uh, on this topic um, and you'll see you don't have a paper okay you just write me a lot of notes do a good discussion and it's all due next Sunday okay so um, have a great week and as I always say contact me um, if you need anything and um, you know I hope you guys are getting ready for uh, a happy holiday season if you don't celebrate Christmas then that's okay and um, uh, but if you do, you know, the lights are always nice, right? Um, so I started early enough, uh, especially since I live up here in Portland, Oregon, and it's very gray and rainy. So actually, I'm going to tell you the truth. I keep up lights all year long. And uh, once it starts snowing, if it does again like last winter, the, the tree will be up until the snow melts. That's my, that's my way of reacting to the, this. Anyway, sorry about the uh, going off on a tangent. Have a good week.